I'm just getting home and my husband has moved our sheep. Um, just wanted to show you guys what rotational grazing we have started doing and it has been amazing. Um, we just pulled our sheep out of this paddock that I'm fixing to show you and moved them over to the next one. We rotate our sheep once a week. We have uh, four paddocks right now and almost done with another one. So just wanted to kind of show you what we do and it helps so much on the parasites. This is the pasture that we just moved them out of. And as you can see, it still has, you know, pretty, pretty decent grass. Let me show you here. It's not super short. We leave, let them leave room. That way, when we rotate them once a week, they don't eat it all the way down and it helps tremendously with keeping the parasites down. All right, so this is the new paddock that we just moved them into today. And as you can see, it's, you look at Sadie. She's pretty if I'm level with her. It's really, really tall. Hey girls. Hello, pretty girl. It's my pride and joy right there. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it's pretty tall. This is kind of what it looks like when they first move over here. And well then about a week. It gets, you know, it gets, it gets eaten down pretty, pretty good. The uh, pasture we just took them off of, um, the grass in it and the, the, the things that they like to eat, um, there's not a whole lot over there for them in that paddock, but um, this is one of the first pastures that we uh, seeded with the seed drill to put new things in here that they really enjoy eating. And so we've been working on the rotational grazing and letting things seed out, as you can see. way it's not too short it reseeds when things seed out it puts things you know keeps them alive in the pasture for you it keeps it going it's our new baby over there she's enjoying Everybody seems to be doing good. Well, mine is tracks. <laughs> we put one of those um, anti-breeding aprons on him today, and probably about 30 minutes ago, and he did not like it so much, but he's adjusting really well. He didn't scare the flock near as bad as Longshot did when he had his on. So they're doing good. See a long shot over there. Still has his apron on. He's a good boy and doing just fine. So that's this paddock. And when they leave this one, we uh, we built an alleyway. So uh, this summer. So when we built the alleyway, we built it right there where that H brace is, and it goes all the way down to that H brace, right over there in the corner. And it runs them into this paddock. Once they run into this paddock, they've been in here for a week. We move them down through the gate down there with this H brace. They move into there and they go into the next paddock. So we're going to walk over here and I'm going to show you. You can see how tall the grass is in this one. And I'm going to show you what the next paddock is going to look like. So as we come over here to this paddock, this is the paddock that they will go into after the one that they're in. So in a week, we will put them into this one. This one did the best. It has done the best as far as uh, when we reseeded, um, growing, you know, there's a few spots that we have had to unroll hay to kill off the grasses that we didn't want to kind of help the ground better. But other than that, it really, really, really did well. It has done really good. Um, this whole, whole place was really bad sage grass, like really, really bad. really good really really good we have 
uh, the taller grass to kind of help, you know, cover the uh, grass and stuff that's underneath. We're just doing the best we can with what we have and it's, it's really, really worked out really well. We're very, very proud of how our pastures are growing up with the rotational grazing. Um, this time last year, we were really running into almost having to give them hay. I think actually we did give them hay because I saw a post where I was looking for square bells last year about this time um, because they just really didn't, they had eaten everything up. We weren't rotating them as quickly as we needed to and they really um, were just gobbling it up and, and we were running out of grass. So us rotating once a week has kept our pastures growing up. They don't eat it down as quickly. We move on to the next one and by the time they make their four and five rounds to the next one and the next one and the next one, then they're back to this one and it's rested for, you know, a month or so. Um, once they leave this paddock, they're gonna go through that gate down there and into the next one. And back behind that one is, uh, the, that's the one that we're extending out and making it uh, a whole new paddock. So once they go through that one and to the back of that, then they will go over here to the barn on that side over there in that back paddock. They'll go back into there and then the alleyway joins at the corner over there and we will run them back through on the rotation. Let's see. Yeah, they'll run back into this H brace right here. Back down the alleyway. And the alleyway will run them all the way back down to where we started. And they'll be right back over there again, right next to the house. So it's worked for us. We are really, really enjoying it. Um, it's definitely made a huge difference in our sheep and, and the parasites. So I just wanted to share.